Hey y'all, it's Dr. Erica, the Fit Fasten Doctor, and I'm back at it again with another OMAD vlog. I have lost and kept off 60 pounds, 60 pounds y'all, through intermittent fasting and also through exercise. I also like to help encourage and motivate you while you're on your journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the family. It is Monday, September the 11th, a new week, which means new goals. And y'all already know what I like to do. I like to come on here and let you know what my goals will be for the week. So for this week, y'all, we're going to begin 20K steps every single day. I know we've been here before. So this week, I'll be sure just to show y'all my step count at the end of the week. Also, I thought, girl, you have not talked about your love for crocheting on the channel yet. So I wanted to introduce to you guys my love for crocheting. I have been crocheting for over 30 years now and it's been a significant part of my weight loss journey actually i find that when i'm crocheting um, my hands are occupied my mind is occupied and i'm not necessarily thinking about food and craving the food i'm just really like in another world creating these masterpieces so since we're moving into the fall season i thought girl you need to be uh cranking out some of these pieces so that's exactly what i'll be doing this week hopefully um i'll be able to do at least two or three scarves hats blankets you name it okay we're just gonna be crocheting away and y'all I already know I'm going to be showing y'all my completed project so y'all can give me a little feedback and tell me what you think. And also, you might just want to stick around to the end of the video because I may just have a surprise for you. All right, y'all, it's time to go ahead downstairs and work out. So I headed downstairs to go ahead and get this workout done. Here is my outfit of the day and then my dance of the day. I went ahead and I got on the elliptical for my usual hour and our positive affirmation for today. I use obstacles to motivate me to learn and grow. I'm sitting here on my lunch and I just want to check in with y'all really, really quickly. Um, my morning went by really, really smooth. I'm so happy we weren't really busy. Um, I'm not really hungry. I'm not hungry at all. Actually, I'm still full from yesterday. So um, I was about to go ahead and get started on my scarf. I just, so this is the yarn I'm gonna be using. It's like this, it's really not picking up um, good on the camera, but it's like this kind of cream color and it has like a like a mid brown and a green. It's, it's gonna be cute as the vlog goes on. Of course, um, y'all know the lighting is not the greatest in here. So I got my hooks right here. Y'all know a whole professional, okay? Once again, I've been doing this for so long. Yeah, in fact, how about when I was in dental school, um, my classmates gave me the Martha Stewart Award for the most baby blankets crochet in dental school. So once again, been doing this for so long and it definitely helps decrease um, my stress. Don't even be thinking about food. So um, I just been sitting here drinking my water, of course, got that handy. So I'm about to go ahead, get started on this scarf that we're gonna be making. Um, I'll just be back a little later on to show y'all um, the progress that we've made with the scarf. Um, also, what I'm gonna have to eat for dinner, and then of course, also my steps. Here's my one meal for today. Y'all, quick, easy, simple, just a bunch of leftovers, basically. So I had my cabbage. I also had a side salad and then that some taco soup. I know I need to give y'all the recipe for that with some tortilla chips. Yeah, I promise, I promise I was seeing patients today, but um, I did go ahead and complete this scarf. Y'all, in this cute? I told y'all it was gonna be cute. These are my steps for the end of the day. Go met. Good morning. It is Tuesday, September the 12th. 
Are y'all ready to go have an amazing day? I know I am. So listen, I am feeling amazing, y'all. I had some good sleep last night. My sleep score is an 86. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So all that means is I'm about to go down here and um, really, really kill this workout, okay? So real quick though, before we go down, I just wanted to encourage somebody today um, to find a routine and remain consistent because somebody out there is struggling and needs to hear this today. So back here, y'all know I got a history of the back and forth, the yo-yoing, literally like all of my life. And it wasn't until I developed a plan and remained consistent because y'all know I'm the queen of consistency over here. But that's when I began to see the results. Y'all, I would literally like work out for a week, then stop for two weeks, then work out for two or three days, then, you know, work out. You get the drift. I mean, all the back and forth as far as like the eating goes. I just wasn't consistent. And then I'll be sitting around here just like, you know, I, I can't lose no weight. I can't get this figured out. But when I decided that this would be my last time going on a fitness journey and i knew i had to show up for myself every single day every single day if y'all wonder why i work out every day like oh she don't take no breaks no i don't because i figured this would help me this is what i need if i took that one day off or two days off that turned into a whole like two months off so i knew i had to form that routine in order to remain consistent now y'all i don't work out for um weight loss at this point i do it because i actually enjoy it y'all have heard me say that so many times before that this is my time, me time. I go down here, I watch my shows. I'm probably gonna be watching YouTube today. I don't know, I'll get it figured out. But that's the that's my time, okay? Um, I'm a wife, I'm a mama, I'm a busy professional that works outside the house. And so I figured once again, in order for me to remain consistent, I'm going to get up at four o'clock in the morning. That is uninterrupted time and it is just for me. Okay. But I will say in order for me to remain consistent, y'all, this journey has been definitely a journey to figure out what was going to work best for me. Hold on y'all. So I, you know, would say, don't try to get, use the same exact thing that somebody else is using and think that it's gonna work for you because it may not. Everything is not for everybody. Some people may say, girl, uh-uh, I can't get up at four o'clock in the morning and, and, and I will believe them, okay? For me, working out in the evening does not work for me. Um, as far as like the workouts I do, y'all want to know why I continue to do the same things every single morning because that's my routine. So hopefully y'all not getting tired of seeing the same stuff, but it is so true. Like that's just, that has been the key to my success. I'm going to get down here, get on that elliptical or get on that treadmill, do a little, um, resistance training. I'm going to come upstairs. I'm going to get ready to go to work. I'm going to go to work, you know, see all my little babies, see all the little patients, okay? Come home, eat my meal, spend a little time with the family, and then I'm getting in the bed, okay? Usually between 9 and 9.30. So that is my routine. I like to keep it simple as well because when, you know, being all over the place and having too much stuff going on, that was the quickest way for me to fall off. Now, y'all know I do little stuff on the weekends, but during the week, y'all gonna be seeing the same, the same stuff because once again, I have a routine and that routine has helped me remain consistent and that consistency has equaled my success. So this has definitely been a journey. It's a personal journey and you have to figure out 
what will work best for you. If you told me, sis, I can't do old man. I can, you know, I want to fast, but I can do 16, eight. That's my sweet spot. Guess what? I would believe you. I would say, okay, old man may not be for everybody. Fasting may not be for everybody. If you told me, you know, keto works for you. Guess what? I would believe you. Keto doesn't work for me. So you have to figure out what's going to work best for you and then just stick with it. You have to remain consistent because I can give y'all my exact blueprint. I can give you my exact fasting hours from way back when. I can give you the exact workouts I did every day. I can give you my exact like meal plan and calories that I ate. Well, not calories, but you know what I mean. I can give you out exact foods that I ate. Look at that food diary. And you can follow that same blueprint and then still have different results, okay? And that may not work for you. So once again, y'all, find what works best for you and then just stick with it. I'm talking about every day. For me, I every single day. Here's my outfit of the day and then of course my dance of the day. So I got on the elliptical and I did my usual hour, our positive affirmation in my uniqueness. I find strength. I am enough. Y'all, I gotta show y'all, this color is one of my favorite fall colors. Y'all, look at me, oh, listen. I done crochet a whole nother scarf at work. Here's my one meal for today. I decided to have my spaghetti. Um, I used my impossible meat. That's my air fry zucchini. And then I just grabbed one of these salad kits, y'all, because I didn't feel like, you know, putting together a whole salad. And here are my steps for the end of the day. Good morning. It is Wednesday, September the 13th. It was time to head downstairs and go ahead and get my workout in. Here's my outfit of the day and then my dance of the day. Now, I listen, y'all, I done got up on this treadmill and I done got a run in. I used to run a lot, so I did five miles. But listen, your girl was on fire because I got on the elliptical and did almost 30 minutes. Baby, where did all this energy come from? Girl, I done showed out. Scarf number three complete. This is the cutest infinity scarf. For my one meal, I just used another one of those salad kits and then I also had some minestrone soup. Y'all know my favorite from Olive Garden. And here's my step count for the end of the day. Good morning, it is Thursday, September the 14th. Are y'all ready to go have an amazing day? I know I am. So listen, I got asked um, in the current vlog, so the one that just went up, if I could tell my spin story, you know, the bike, the spinning, right? So I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm gonna talk about it in the morning. Years ago, guys, um, this is after I had Braylon and he's almost nine. So we're gonna say about eight years ago, I was being encouraged to, you know, try something different. You know, you had just had the baby and you know how ladies, you wanna be getting your body back how it used to be. So I said, okay. I'll go ahead and try out the spinning class. I had never done it before. So I done pranced my way on up to the gym. You know, I'm thinking I'm looking cute. We trying to get even cuter. Okay, I go into the class and I'm just like, okay, it's a nice setup. You know, lights gonna be out. And you know, I went to my bike. I grabbed that little cushion. Well, at least it feels like this little cushion thing that goes on the seat. So uh, the class starts and um, I'm noticing like the, the instructor, she, we doing this up and down. Cause remember this is my first experience with it. We doing all this up and down, up and down or whatever. And I'm noticing that, you know, I'm kind of starting to hurt, you know, down there ladies. I'm, I'm, and I'm talking about like the front and the back, the butt part, the front part, just everything in between the legs. But I just kept on going, okay? I was just like, I, I just pressed all the way through. All right, class was over. When I tell y'all, by the time I got back to the house, I was already walking like, uh, you know, gap leg already, okay? I'm talking about with a slight limp. 
I don't know. I, I don't know if it was the instructor, the class, the constant up and down. I have no idea. But when I tell y'all, for literally almost a week, I was sore down there. I was just like, oh, no, mm -mm, never again. This is not for me. So when I tell that story, or when I did tell that story to like my friends back then and my family, they're just like, oh, girl, it's because, you know, you got to get the cushion and you got to do this. I said, I did have a cushion on and it's still you know, hurting. And they said, oh, well, you know, spinning, it ain't really made for, you know, the big booty girls. I said, yeah, I do not have a big booty, okay? Yeah, that, that I don't fall in that category either, okay? No, I, I don't know what it is, y'all, but I just figured, you know what? I did it. I tried it, okay? I saw what it was all about. But from that one experience, I determined that uh, spinning was not for me because uh the pain that i was experiencing for that week after leaving that class the soreness the soreness of it all yeah all down my legs the front the back just everything i was just like mm -mm. we're gonna stick to uh my old faithfuls okay so we better go downstairs treadmill elliptical you know jump ropes um I can do my at home, um, you know, walking videos. Y'all know like the Grow With Joe type videos or whatever, or Burpee Girl, I like. you. Y'all know what I'm talking about because see, um, those are always kind to me, right? All right, y'all, let me get downstairs and work out. Are y'all laughing at me? Listen, I told y'all, y'all can keep this spinning. Uh-uh, I'll just stick to uh my usual. Here's my outfit of the day and my dance of the day. Our positive quote, I will never, ever give up. Y'all, look at me. I done ran another uh, over five miles just over here cutting up. I know y'all already know my uh, Thursday evening routine by now. So after work, it was time to take Braylon to his swim lesson. And he was just playing around with one of his little buddies before practice started. He actually had um, another um, little boy join him today. It was another very good lesson. Here's my one meal. So I had my air fry potato wedges and then also my air fry zucchini with a side of ketchup. I ate the last of that minestrone soup from Olive Garden. I also had an apple and then y'all already know my cashew cheese for my potatoes. And here are my steps. Good morning. It is Friday, September the 15th. Here is my outfit of the day and my dance of the day. I didn't have much time, so I went ahead and got on a treadmill. And our positive affirmation, I am focused and passionate about my goals and career. I just made it to the hospital. Um, I will be in the OR on today for the majority of the day. For those of you who don't know, I do travel um, about an hour and a half away one Friday out the month to um, do sedation cases. So I'll be here, um, yeah, for a good bit of the day. So I was just um, coming to say have an amazing day as always. And y'all will see me once I get home because y'all, we have a lot to talk about. So I know I haven't mentioned this this week, but my husband's um, 50th birthday is on Sunday. So um, as soon as I get down with these patients and get back to, um, you know, my side of town, y'all, it's about to be on because I have so much to do as far as like going to the grocery store, baking, um, just doing all the things, you know, cleaning, getting everything ready because we are, we'll be celebrating on tomorrow, um, you know, like on Saturday and then again on Sunday. So anyway, um, I probably won't be doing any crocheting today. Um, I'll definitely be getting my steps in though. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and go inside and y'all like always pray for my babies, my patients. I'll see y'all back at the house. Y'all, look at me trying something new. So these are some air fried um, buffalo chicken um, little wings. I also had my air fried potatoes with a side of ketchup and then also cabbage and carrots. Good morning. It is Saturday, September the 16th. Are y'all ready to go have an amazing day? I know I am. 
So listen, y'all, I, I feel like we have so much to talk about. We got a lot to catch up on. So um, first thing, y'all, I have so many things to do today. So um, I did mention that my husband's birthday, it's on tomorrow, right? And um, one of the parts of his celebration will be tonight. So his birthday party will be tonight. And then of course, y'all know um, about tomorrow's Sunday dinner. So, um, after I left the OR yesterday, I got back home and I started doing little things around the house, but today, y'all, I'm going to be like, uh, so busy. So y'all already know, got to go work out. I got to do my weekly, um, Walmart trip. But after that, I'm pretty much going to be in the kitchen. Okay. Just kind of preparing, um, getting things done, uh, for tomorrow because tonight, you know, we'll, we'll, we will, we'll be at the party. So, um, I also, let me say this, I'm a baker. So every single year, y'all, I have to bake my husband, his birthday cake, but y'all will see that on tomorrow. It's just a thing now. Now he'll have a cake on tonight as well, but I didn't make that cake. So you'll see the one on tomorrow. But um, yeah, y'all listen, it's not going to be any crocheting going on today um, either. But I, you know, I think I've done good this week. So I have completed three pieces. I'm really proud of myself. And then of course, you know, I've been crushing my step goal every day. So y'all listen though, about 8.30, almost nine o'clock last night, um, I realized that my um, child care plans for Braylon for tonight, you know, because we're going to be going to the party, have fallen through. So that's just like one more thing that I have to get situated. I'm just like, wait, look, look now. Now, I know it's all going to work out, but um, times like this, um, you know, it's easy for me to get overwhelmed. So I'm just going to take a deep breath. Okay, I know everything will work out. So I'll just be back a little later on. Oh, and let me say this, your girl, I'm going to eat before I go to the party on tonight because it's not going to be anything that I can eat other than some fruit. So, um, of course, just like I said, I'll just be back a little later on. Um, to show y'all what I'm going to be eating on tonight, but I'm, I'm eating here at the house. Okay. Here's my outfit of the day. And then after I got done doing my little dance, it was time to get on the elliptical and I did my usual hour. Our positive affirmation for today, I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. I have not sat down at all. When I tell y'all I have been in this kitchen since I got back home from the grocery store. So it is like um, right after three o'clock right now. And um, yeah, I've been in this kitchen. I'm gonna finish talking and I'm gonna turn this camera around so y'all can see what the kitchen is looking like because it looks a hot mess in here. But if it don't look like this, I mean, girl, what are you really doing? So. Do y'all know like how you can be cooking all day long and just so busy to where you're not even hungry? Do y'all, let me know in the comments, have you ever experienced that? Because that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm not even thinking about food. I know and it's so crazy because that's all I've been doing um, in here, getting ready for my husband's birthday on tomorrow. So I'm thinking um, that I'm just going to turn this into like a full fast day. And it may, I think it's going to end up being a good thing because what that will do is it will allow me to um, eat earlier on tomorrow. You know, I mean, it's my husband's birthday, just in case I'll probably make him like a little brunch um, before it's time for Sunday dinner. And I can sit down and enjoy, you know, like an earlier meal with him. So, y'all, I'm going to finish up in the kitchen. Oh, and my mom is going to watch Braylon for me tonight. So, I'm so thankful for her. Um, so, I'm going to finish up as much as I can here in the kitchen. I need to take Braylon to my mom's house, come back, and get ready for the party tonight. So, Full fast today, and y'all already know I will um, let y'all see how many steps I have, but I'll just see y'all when it's time to partay tonight. All right, I'll see y'all at the party. 
We had the most amazing turnout and everybody really, really enjoyed themselves. I'm so happy I decided to just go a full fast because the only thing I would have been able to eat would have been that fruit. Y'all know I got a pose and y'all already know I did go ahead and get my steps in. Good morning. It is Sunday, September the 17th. Are y'all ready to go have an amazing day? I know I am. So first things first, y'all, it is my husband's birthday. So please, please y'all do me a favor in the comments, drop happy birthday um, for my husband. Just help me make this day special for him. So write that in the comments, happy birthday to him. So last night the party was awesome uh he definitely enjoyed himself and i think all of his guests uh enjoyed themselves as well now listen i was really kind of tired because i already told y'all i had been on my feet when i say all day long so part of the night your girl did sit down because i did need to get a little rest i just had to do what i had to do right so um i am still fasted right now i did not eat anything on um yesterday and um, so the last thing I had was those buffalo um, chicken chicken nugget things um, with my potato wedges on Friday night. So what are we? We are about 34 hours um, fasted right now. Um, so yeah, girl. Okay. So um, it worked out though. So y'all are probably probably see me break my fast a little earlier on today because it's a celebration it's it's my husband's birthday right so um i do have a lot of things to get done this morning um just trying to get ready for the upcoming week still got to finish up on laundry and you know ironing clothes and things so um y'all y'all already know the drill go ahead be ready at three o'clock because that's what time sunday dinner starts we'll have a house full so be ready now let me go ahead downstairs and work out i headed downstairs to go ahead and get my workout done so here is my outfit of the day and of course my dance of the day so i went ahead and got on the elliptical because we're back to our regular scheduled program i'm doing my usual hour and our positive affirmation for today i am not what happened to me i am what i choose to become so it was about 11 30 and this is how i decided to break my fast just with some fruit do y'all have y'all clothes on? I told y'all to be ready. Oh, did y'all catch that cake? So look, look at all this food, y'all. I told y'all I have been busy. So this is all the food that my family would be eating. Everybody um, really had a nice time. So this is my food for today. So I had some cabbage, black eyed peas, my vegan meatballs, some fruit, green beans, and yes, ma'am, that's some peach cobbler. But listen, look at those steps. I've had the most amazing week from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods I love. Listen, remember at the beginning of the vlog when I told you that I may have a surprise for you? Those scarves that I've been crocheting all week, those are not for me, those are for y'all. So it is giveaway time. So listen, here are the rules for the giveaway. You must be subscribed to the channel go ahead like this video and also comment saying today will be amazing now the contest will go through today all the way through september the 30th okay and you can come back every single day if you like and make a comment stating today will be amazing so i will select by random draw two winners okay and the winners will be announced on my community tab on october the first Good luck, y'all, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.